All right, so welcome back to F123. It's a new week, so you know, new prospects, new horizons, and a brand new scenario on F123. We're going to Australia. I have no idea what's in store for us today, but we're going to take a look. But first, I said this in the last video on this, I'm going to be showing where I placed in the previous week because I like showing off. So this is where I placed in Belgium. So as you can see, I placed 161st out of 4,782. So you could do the maths, it says right there. Uh, top 3%, which is a lot better than usual. I aim for top five every week, but top three is like really, really good. And as you can see, I, I think in the original video, I did 100, whereas in uh, afterwards I did 110 and it was actually quite easy still. So. I'm going to be doing it on 105 for this scenario because I feel like it. And then obviously if it's too easy, I'll do it harder in my own time. So let's go. I didn't even read what was going on. What's the actual plot? Uh, it seems to feel tightly packed entering the closing stages. Can Alonso harness decent rain pace, rain pace, race pace and secure a podium finish? Now that I like the sound of. I want to do that. All right, slight problem. I don't have a preset for Australasia, so I'm just going to go for a pretty bog-standard setup. All right. Oh, I'm quite excited. I reckon it's going to be quite good. Let's have a go. Come on. Let's have ya. I see a Ferrari in front. What's that? I think that's a Mercedes, and I don't know what's in front of that. Okay, here we go. We are in. Who's that behind me? Lawrence. Go away, Lawrence. Don't like ya. Actually, I do like you, but like, not right now. Oh, this car sucks. I'm too used to driving my, uh, the, the, the My World car, which is like, literally like the most powerful, fastest car you can ever drive in a, in a game ever. So going back to normal cars is actually quite annoying. However, I should be all right. Right, I need to give my car more... Uh, yeah, I'm going to restart and give my car like 20 times the downforce because, yeah, that, that ain't it. Let's just... This bike compromised me a bit. Don't care. Doing that. Thank you. Doing it again. This instantly feels 602.35% uh, better. Obviously, I'm going to struggle in the straights a bit, though, but I should be okay. Okay. Might find that a bit difficult with bloody Lawrence of Incompetence up my ass 24-7. You go away a bit. Right, I'm starting to have doubts that I can actually catch up to Mr. Carlos Sainz. I, uh... I think I might have put the difficulty a tad too high, but we'll push on. Of course, having the ideal setup would be nice, but uh, it takes, it's a, it's, a, it's a lot of effort. You know, I have to go on YouTube and type in optimal race setup for Australasia, and then type it all in and copy it, and it's just long. Come on, I'm within a second. I won't be for much longer, but I'm within a second. Please let me have it. No. Oh, so close to DRS. That's all I need. If I get into DRS once, I have a chance. Now, what's quite annoying about this track, which I'm pretty sure 67.5% of people know, actually, it's probably everyone, that this this DRS zone here has the same detection point as the one down the main straight, which is very dumb, first of all. And it also means that it's a lot harder for me to get into the DRS. Bastards. One good thing, I guess, though, is because the track limits are on Lenian, I can sort of... I don't like going off the track for like, on purpose to gain time, but in, a, in, in dark, deep situations like this, I feel like I have no choice. Unluckily, though, on a track like this, there really isn't anywhere you can go off the track to gain time. Can something happen to, like... The front three, so I can catch up, please. I think what I do need is signs to... Oh, he already has fallen out of DRS. Never mind. I need something to happen. Because I'm just falling further and further away. 
Yeah, I ain't, I ain't catching. I, I'm not gonna lie, I am not catching. Come on, signs, can your car blow up, please? I don't want to have to do this event twice. It's so long already. It's not too bad. It's only like 10 laps, but like, I've got shit to do. Can your car just blow up, please? Now Lance is catching up to me. What is this shit? Oh, it's so annoying. If I put the difficulty literally too lower, I'll be able to catch up. Two. That's all it is. How is Lance so quick? What is he doing that I'm not doing? Okay, yeah. I'm gonna end this session. And I shall come back when the difficulty is too lower so I can actually do it. Right, I'm now on the DRS straight, right behind Signs. He hasn't got DRS. I do. Catching up rapidly. Ah, uh, no, that's too risky. See, I am a cautious driver now. Now I'm gonna go for it again. Going to the inside, because I feel like it. And there you have it. Oh, no, hang on. No, no, that's not worked. Try that again. Down the inside. My car does not work. Wow. My car really doesn't work. Down the inside again. Don't care. Plus ratio. Go away. I literally broke at the same time that Signs did, and yet I go off the track. Are my brakes that weak? Like, right, come on. Just got uh, four laps left of this, this quite lovely track. I do like it. I'm very slow at it, but... Uh, I do like it. There's quite a lot of tracks on this game that I really like driving. Australia, Monaco, Spain, Holland, Brazil. I really like those tracks. I'm just really slow at them. Which is weird, because you'd think the tracks I like the most I'm quickest at. But uh, my quickest tracks is like Saudi Arabia, Spa... Bahrain and probably Mexico as well. I hate Mexico. I hate when well, no, I don't hate Mexico at like the country. I hate the track. <laughs> don't want to get cancelled. No, no I, I hate the Mexico track. And Saudi Arabia is alright. Spain was one of my least favourites. But now they've added the new, like, fast corners at the end, it's instantly now one of my favourites. So, yeah. That's a little exploratory moment of tracks that I like and I'm fast at, although no one asked and no one cares. Now I'm just going to, you know, finish the race. How about that? Good idea, me. Well done. Give yourself a pat on the back. Oh, but wait. Signs isn't done yet. He feels that... He, he still feels that podium is on. Wow, what a miracle DRS truly is. It keeps the slower car in contention. That's what I don't like about DRS. Just free overtakes. Although, to be fair, without it, I don't think there'd be a single overtake. So, it should definitely stay. It just pisses me off. I mean, what would you rather? Let me know in the comments. Zero overtakes, or maybe one or two overtakes that are, like, legit. Or about 50 overtakes using DRS down the Camel Straight. You let me know. All right, I feel as though I'm in a bit of a mud here. Because uh, Signs is very fast and he's going to be even faster on this final lap. I am, I am not looking forward to it whatsoever. And in the meantime, uh, between the last time I spoke to you and now, I've crashed seven times. So I'm, I'm very annoyed at the moment. And I would like to complete one lap of this race without crashing once. That would be really, really nice. However... It's me we're talking about, so that physically, mentally, and spiritually cannot happen. And as I, Fernando Alonso, continue my run on a final lap of the race going down the big long straight, Carlos Sainz is right up my arse with DRS enabled. Will he go for an overtake? No, he's too much of a bitch. Alright, into the fast chicane. This is going to be probably Sainz's final chance. Although I have the inside line. So, it's not looking good, bruv. Here he goes. I've got the inside line. Push him wide. Gordon Lawrence, get him! Get the third and fourth for the Astons. Oh, well, this scenario has actually been 
very fun. I like it. Give it a try. You only have to overtake one car that doesn't have DRS. Good luck to that. Thank you for watching. Leave a like. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.